Charlie! There you are. You're always by my feet. Give me a kiss. Can I have a kiss? Oh, are you too cool to give me kisses now? What's up, everybody? So, today I thought I'd do a Q&A. Okay. Today I thought I'd do a Q&A. So I went on Twitter and I said, ask me any questions. And then I said, make them deeper than you guys were asking. Because a lot of you guys were like, what's your favorite Netflix show? What's your favorite color? I'm like, that's stuff that nobody really cares about. With my boy, Charlie. Of course, Charlie's going to make an appearance. He's got his Canada jacket. It's a new fall fashion. Keeps his little body warm. Literally, even like the smallest breeze will make this guy shiver. You're just chill like that, aren't you? Charlie Puth. His, his middle name is Daniel. <laughs> I registered him yesterday. And they're like, what do you want his middle name to be? I'm like, no, no, he doesn't need a middle name. After the whole thing, she's like, okay, great. We feel that out. I'm like, actually, can you make his middle name Daniel? First question, did you ever swear in front of your parents and get in big trouble? I mean, yeah, of course, my parents didn't like swearing in the house, but there's one time that I recall so perfectly. So I got home from school. I was just kind of like, I was feeling this day like, hey, don't mess with me because I was in a new grade. I was a little bit older. That day, learned the word masturbate. I didn't know what it meant. I just learned the term. So I got home. My older brother, Brad, started to really piss me off. Teasing, kept prodding. I was like, okay, that's it. I just yelled out, yeah, well, go play with your master toy. His face was like, I didn't know what that meant. Maddie Burton, how much are you willing to sacrifice for your dream to come true? Great question, because any sort of success involves a level of sacrifice. I wouldn't change my lifestyle up too, too much. I would move, which I've done in the past. If somebody was like, you can't dress like this, you gotta start looking like this, you gotta start talking like this. That's where I'll kind of draw the line. A big part of where I'm at today um, is is based on who I am. Lauren, what's the one thing you regret to this day? Honestly, because I have this like theory of everything happens for a reason, my, I tend to not live with regrets. Let's ask Charlie, let's ask Charlie. Sorry buddy, I know you're trying to sleep, but if there was one regret that you had to this day, what would it be? Tell me. Oh, savage. He said pooing on the carpet when he first got here. Settle down, Sarah. How do you deal with homesickness? Bring things that represent home for you. A little trinket from your house, like a pillowcase or a sweater that has the smell of your home. I feel like a lot of homesickness involves uh, the fear of missing out. Calling home, why not? See what's going on. Larry, what made you decide to get a puppy? Poor guy is trying to sleep and you guys keep directing questions. Towards him. This is my stage of life right now. It was kind of, I, I wanted to get something I needed to look after. Um, something that kept me in routine, that got me up in the morning. And this guy certainly does that bright and early, I'll add. We now do walks at like 6 a.m. An incredible change of pace, uh, change of lifestyle, getting this guy. I like living with dogs. I love pets. I love animals. And I like having something to care for. And this guy is, is exactly that. Dolores, what are your tips for handling online trolls? The second that you let a troll in, what I mean by in is they say something and you accept it as that's how it is. That's when they win. Dan Pyre Cause, do you own a pair of white vans? I own mint green vans, not white ones. Cause I feel like any sort of white shoe gets dirty so easy. I don't really ever buy white shoes to be honest. Here's something I learned about Charlie. Any sort of extremity you have and that you wanna keep, Keep away from this guy, because he will nip at your toes, he will bite your fingers, see? Oh. Sydney, what's the most rewarding thing about fatherhood? Easily the hands down the best thing about fatherhood, and what you mean by that is obviously Charlie here, um, is when I get to wake up in the morning and take him out of his crate. Filmed it this morning. So this was this morning at like probably 5.45 in the morning, waking him up. This is the best part of every day, when I get to take him out of his cage, ready? Is that my boy? Is that my boy? Oh, it's my boy! Oh, Charlie! Oh, I missed you so much! I missed you, boo-boo! Oh, I missed you, yeah. Oh, you're peeing. You're peeing. I miss you. I miss you too. Good boy, come on. And it's such a good feeling. He's like, he literally is like your baby. Because he's always crying, you gotta clean up after him, you gotta feed him. There's so much responsibility involved. If you don't do it, he's not gonna be a healthy dog or he's not gonna enjoy his life with you. My goal is to make sure he's a happy little pup and that we have fun together, right? Okay, and you don't bite my pinky. Stop, man. If you had the chance to do whatever you want, it could be anything, what would it be? It would probably be cure some sort of disease or illness, if that's what you meant. If you didn't mean that, then I think I'd want to, um, I'd want to successfully go to the moon and back. Lydia, if people evolved from apes, why are there still apes? Human birth is just a conspiracy. These apes are just the next humans. 
Alexa, thoughts on Trump? I think he's an idiot. Let's be real here. If this guy was gonna run a country with his thoughts, the way he's acted in the past, I really do think the United States would be in some serious trouble. At the same time, I don't really like Hillary Clinton either. My thinking is Hillary Clinton just looks so much better than Donald Trump in comparison. Hillary Clinton, she just, she seems to be a liar. I, she just doesn't seem to be truthful. I think it's her smile or whatever. That's my take on it. I don't like either of them. I do vote, I am an American as well as Canadian, but and I'll be voting for Hillary Clinton just due to the fact that the alternative is Donald Trump who's awful. Lily, what was your most awkward fan encounter? Okay, it was actually the first fan encounter I've ever had. I was at a flea market and I was going down the aisles and this girl goes by and she goes like this. Oh, that was weird, like it did not look like a good checkout, you know? I go down the next aisle and she comes up to me and she goes, are you Dan from YouTube? And this was in such a small town. I go, yeah. She goes, Start screaming, jumping up and down, crying. This was the very first time it's ever happened to me. Everybody in the flea market is starting to look at me. I turned all red because I'm like, oh my god, this is insane. This has never happened before. I took a photo with her. She was very, very sweet. Um, I remember I was like, yeah, I'll email you the photo. And her email address was like, I don't need you to care about me at Hotmail or something like that. It was something like ridiculously like emo. And I was like, ooh, you want a hug too? <laughs> Why are you looking at me? I could feel you looking at me from, from down there. What's up? He does this thing where he just stares at me. I'm like, I feel like I'm imprinting him right now. Oh my God, today's my four years. October 15th of 2012 was when I started The Danocracy. Today's my four year anniversary. Charlie, give me a kiss for that. Can I get a kiss for that? Four years, buddy. That's absolutely, okay, okay. Inappropriate. Yay, yay, here's the four more, am I right? Okay, hey, stop eating it. Okay, that's it, your shirt's coming off. You're losing the shirt. Now you're gonna be naked on the internet. Let go. Let go. I outfitted you with a nice shirt, the latest fall fashion, and you chew it. We gotta film video. I can't have you being a savage the whole video, okay? Look at this, he has this little like dangly paw, it's the best. When I take him over for walks in the elevator, I'm like, hey guys, look, my dog has a fake paw. That was a and a thank you guys so much for submitting them on Twitter. Charlie and I have a busy day of trips to visit people because a lot of people want to meet this little guy. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel. I'll have more videos coming up shortly, and I'll see you in my next video. Oh, also, Charlie here has Instagram, at Charlie Dashy. He's pretty good with it. See you guys later.